I have to admit, uh, at the very beginning uh, of our PFA career, we always adapted the size of the catheter according to the PVs that, that we've seen. Although I have to admit, um, this right super PV is big. However, I would probably still stay with a smaller catheter, about 31. I, I think this this uh, diameter of the, of the PV is a maximum 25 or something. So we are far bigger with the, with the PFA catheter still. And uh, I would certainly stay with the 31 uh, since it's easier to maneuver it. It's easier to especially get it in its uh, uh, in its shape in front of the right inferior PV. Um, it's a little more difficult with a bigger one. And also, according to the results from your center, I think durability is better when using the small one. So that are, I think, two arguments. It's first of all, the fact that the PV is not too big. And secondly, durability is better. Very strong. Yeah, argument. hi, he is. Yeah, it's a, a fair point. Here's Ari from, from Cologne. Thanks for having us and, and congrats to the great case. I couldn't agree more with Andreas. I think uh, the risk of, you know, um, touching the rest of the left atrium and causing some uh, additional lines that you don't want to do. If you look at your data, you have shown us nicely the, the rate of consecutive atrial tachycardia arising from isthmuses that we might create bigger devices. I would also go for the smaller one. And we're talking about three veins that are more or less normal. Uh, as opposed to only one vein, which is a bit bigger. So therefore, I think it's it's uh, completely fair to say to use the smaller one. All right. Uh, my okay. experience is so only with Advantage, and it's, uh, I would say, 31 too. 31. So what, can, can, what oh did God. we do? <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. We never do what we're told to do. So. <laughs>